everyone, happy Sunday. Welcome to this video. I am going to walk you through getting started with Medium. Step by step, all the way from getting your profile set up, all the way to publishing your third story, which is really gonna help you out. Um, just get a foot in the door and start writing on Medium. If you're watching this video, I'm gonna assume you like writing. Uh, I'm gonna assume that you're not in this just to get rich quick. Um, you can make money by writing on Medium, but it's, it's a really, it's a long-term thing. So you're here because you love writing and you're expecting to make some money, but not like become a billionaire. I'm also going to assume that you know about Medium a little bit. Um, you understand that it's like a blogging platform. Um, if not, I really recommend that you check them out. They're amazing. I don't know how you came to this video if you don't know about Medium, but check it out if, uh, if you're not quite there yet. And then come back to this one. Cool. For this first section, let's talk about setup. Setup is, this is what's gonna set you up for success. The great thing about writing on Medium is you can start doing it almost immediately. There's just a few things you need to get out of the way first. First of all, you need to make sure that you have a Medium account. So before you do this, um, I would recommend setting up a Gmail account if you don't already have one. Um, this just makes it super easy to log in and out. And if you want to, you can create a pen name. So for me, Zuli Rain is a pen name. You can also do it with your own real name if that's what you prefer. It's 100% up to you. Secondly, make sure you're set up to the partner program. You will not have to pay to be part of the partner program. Um, you can just join it, however. Uh, I would recommend becoming a paying Medium member as well. It's $5 a month, and if all goes well, you'll be paying for it just through writing, which is, uh, which is great. To become a Medium partner in the Medium Partner Program, there are a few more steps. So you'll want to get to your profile and right-click on your profile. Sorry, click on your profile in the top right corner. Drop down to where it says Medium Partner Program. Uh, here you will have all the steps you need to connect a Stripe account and ideally get your tax information set up. <sighs> People always ask me, what if Stripe isn't available in my country? This is one of those things that I wish I could help more with. I really do. I just, I don't know much about it because that's not a problem that I've ever had, had to navigate. I do know a lot of people have successfully navigated this. So if you're in this boat, I'll post a video link in the comments that I know has helped at least a few people out. Give it a try. Um, my perspective is I wish Medium would use something other than Stripe so that they could fairly compensate people from all over for their writing, but this is where we are right now. All right, once you have your Stripe set up and you've put in your tax information, you have to do this to get paid. You have like a month to do it, um, but after that, like Medium's gonna be like, we're not gonna pay you unless you put your tax information in. This is to help them stay complicit with the laws from whatever country you're, you're from. Okay, that is all the boring setup stuff done. Now you're ready to start getting into it. So you're gonna be prompted to follow some topics. This is a complicated enough um, section that I wanna stop and reflect on topics a bit on Medium. Medium isn't like other blogging platforms. It's driven not by author, not really by blog, but by topics. Topics are what make Medium's recommendation algorithm go round. When you get your email, your Medium Daily Digest, uh, the main factor that's gonna go into that is what topics you've said you're interested in. That being said, there's no real way to like gain the system here. So if you wanna become a better writer, I would recommend following topics that are interesting to you, that are gonna be thought provoking for you. The topics that you're gonna be writing in so that you can start seeing the lay of the land, what people are writing about, um, what you can start writing about. So I would say pick five to 10. Um, there are over a hundred, so you definitely will find something that you're interested in and follow things that you are genuinely keen on. Medium is full of amazing writers. I read stuff on Medium almost every single day, um, not to like increase my following, but because I love the stuff that's written on here and I, I hope you will too. Okay, so that is the kind of fun, exciting first step of getting on Medium is following topics. Next is following people. You're going to want to pick a few of the thought leaders on Medium. The way that you can do this is you can go to your own homepage once once you've picked a few topics to follow and you're gonna start seeing stories populate in there. You can check out the people that have written them and you can follow them. You can also check out the publications that they're in and you can follow those two separately. We'll get into that a little bit later. Another question I always get around this stage is, should I do follow unfollow? I'll be upfront. I did follow unfollow my first month of Medium. I think I followed like a thousand people and maybe a hundred of them followed me back. I don't recommend it. Um, a, I think it's kind of trying to game the system and that's not what we're trying to do here. We're trying to set up a medium profile for people who like writing and want to be compensated for it. We're not trying to hack anything. 
So if you want a big number of followers um, and you're okay following and unfollowing people to do that, go ahead. Um, it works, but I mean, you'll get followers, but that doesn't mean much financially. We'll discuss how you get paid on Medium also a little bit later. There's a lot to cover here. Medium is more topic driven than followers. So just because somebody follows you doesn't mean they're going to read your stuff. Um, you have a far better chance of getting success if you are curated in those topics. Yes, the topics we talked about earlier or you are published in bigger publications or more active publications on Medium. Okay, so at this stage, you should have followed some people that you like to read, um, some publications that you like, and most importantly, the topics you're interested in. This is gonna help you find better stuff to read, and it's gonna give you an idea of how you should be writing on Medium. Next is filling out your profile. Medium is precious with character limit on profile, so think about this carefully. This profile is how you are represented to the world who's reading your stuff on Medium. At the bottom of every single one of your stories, they're gonna have a little profile, and you have, I don't know, like 120 characters to give your whole personality across. So there's a few things that you desperately need to have in your profile. First of all, a picture with a face, ideally. This is gonna just give you more of a real feeling. Um, it's gonna make people more invested in you as a writer. Um, and honestly, it's gonna make media more likely to distribute your stories more widely because they think it's written by a real person. Of course, hopefully no robots watching this. If you are writing under a pen name and don't want your real picture out there, that's totally cool. I have like this huge big wig on, I think in my profile picture, um, not my real hair color, as you can tell. Or you can just go on like uh, Pexels, Pixabay and find a pseudo picture person that, that works for you. Uh, maybe like a person with a hat or a person with a camera in front of their face, something like that. As long as it's of a real person, you're gonna do fine. So picture matters. The next thing we want to talk about is your credentials. This is, take a minute to reflect what kind of stories you think you're going to be writing in. If you think that you're going to be writing in psychology or self-help or romance or anything else, what is it about you that makes you worth listening to? So you don't have to be like a professor or something like that. You don't have to have any actual credentials. But if you're a psychology fanatic and that entitles you to write about psychology, put that in. If you've been broken up with 17 times and you're gonna be writing about relationships, put that in. If you're a married father with uh, 17 children and you're writing about parenthood, that matters, put that in. You'll have the chance to edit your profile as you kind of develop your writing persona, but think about how you wanna portray yourself to the people that you're gonna be writing to. Medium is looking for those credentials when they look to distribute your story widely. They don't want people getting to the bottom of something and being like, why the heck should I care what this person says? They want readers to get to the bottom of a story and be like, wow, that was a super enlightening read by someone who really cares about psychology. This is the last and in my opinion, trickiest thing to do with a profile. Try to put in a bit of your personality. If you're aiming for fun, try to put in like a little something that makes you stick out. Um, if you're going for a professional, maybe include a link to your LinkedIn profile, something that's gonna be really in line with the persona you're developing as an author. If you already have a link that you wanna drive traffic to, this is the place to put it. Okay, that is the setup. That's the biggest thing and the most boring thing in my opinion, and even that was kind of fun. So hopefully you've set everything up and you're ready to start writing. Um, okay, let's jump into that next. All right, let's get into step number two. This is going to be talking about the actual writing portion. You will be writing a blog post in this section, but I wanna make sure that you're set up for success. So we're gonna go through a few steps first. I wanna quickly re recap on how people are going to find your work. First of all, topics. We discussed them earlier. You followed topics yourself, so now you know that stories are promoted via topic on Medium. If one of Medium's curators looks at your post and they say, hey, this is a really amazing uh, write-up of how to get over heartbreak, for example. They might curate it into the relationships topic. That's one way people are gonna read your story. The second way is if you publish in a publication. There are, I don't know, possibly over a thousand publications on Medium. And the, mo the all you need to know about them at this stage is that they're a collection of similar stories um, run by a real person who says, yeah, I will accept that story into my publication or no, I won't. Um, the great thing about being accepted in a publication is it means that even if you have zero followers, your story might get shown to anyone and everyone who follows that publication. Um, if they're an active publication, if they're good about reaching out to their followers, um, if they've got a high engagement level, that's all good news for you as a novice author. Publications also have a tool in their little tool set that authors, regular authors don't have, and that is 
letters. Uh, letters are kind of like Medium's answer to newsletters. So as an author, I can't say like, hey everyone, I just wrote a new story, here it is. As a publication owner though, I can. I can say, hey everyone who follows this publication, I just wrote or I just accept these stories, I think you should check them out. And it goes straight into everyone's inbox. That is a powerful tool to have and it's a powerful tool to be involved in. So before you write anything, you're gonna create your very own first publication. It doesn't have to be thematic. Um, don't think too much about this. This is just your very first step. All you wanna do is head on over to Medium, click on your profile, top right, and there you're gonna see a list that says publications. Click on that and create a new one. It's pretty simple, step by step. It looks like a lot of setup, but it's super easy. First, you give it a name. I recommend using something with your name or your pen name. Uh, one of my favorite examples of this is like Love Emma. I, I like both of those because they're like, they're very true to the letter format. They're from the author to the follower. Give it a description. Again, don't overthink this too much. Um, just, it can be as simple as a collection of my stories about A, B, and C. And these are the things that you're interested in. Um, finally, Medium makes you create a publication avatar, just like an image that people see when they follow it or when a story is published in there. Go into Word, create a color block of your favorite color, like mine is yellow, and then just superimpose the first letter of your name onto it and save that as an image. It's that easy. That's that's all you really need to get started. Um, the rest is fully optional. You don't have to worry about that. Save that until you're more well-versed into how Medium works. What this is going to do is it's just going to give you a home for all your stories that don't go into any other publications. And it means that you can email people who follow your publication um, as soon as you publish anything new. You don't have any publication followers yet. That's going to change. Step number two. I know you still haven't written anything, but bear with me. In this section, you are going to read Medium's curation guidelines. Full disclosure, they're a little dry and they can be summarized as this, write good stories. That's pretty much it. Um, this comes down to a lot of different topics like um, formatting, how you do your headlines, no clickbait, uh, make sure you don't have any massive typos, um, make sure you credit your images. That Those are the, the basic guidelines that you need to follow to a T if you want your story to be curated by Medium. Now, again, let's quickly go over what curation is. That means that Medium's team of curators looks at it and says, this story is awesome. This should be shown to everyone who cares about these topics or who has followed these topics. It doesn't matter if your story is in a publication or not. Medium looks at the story on its, like, in and of itself. So it doesn't matter. It can still be curated whether it's in a publication or not. Totally up to them. Th this is the boring part. You have to read the guidelines. But then what I want you to do is go to medium.com forward slash topics. Pick three topics, open them in new tabs. Now go to each of those topics and read three stories, at least three stories. Uh, first of all, it's fun to read. Second of all, this is gonna give you an idea of what it takes to be created in that topic. It's gonna give you an idea of what subjects they're looking for, what the formatting's like, what tone they'll allow, what publications are popular. It's gonna give you so much information. You've understood all you can about curation. You've read the guidelines. Now you're ready to write. This is here, the big, moment, the moment you've been waiting for. Go on to Medium, click new story, and start writing. Some people get overwhelmed with the Medium editor. There are a lot of formatting options, um, and once you know it, it's basic. Um, so I really recommend you check out um, either my video or any other video on the subject of mastering the Medium editor. Once you know that a few tips and tricks, you can really make a powerful, beautiful, impactful story. I can't tell you how to do this. Um, hopefully at this point, you know how to write a story. Just start typing away things that you're passionate about, things that you're interested in, things that are inspiring to you. Um, I do get a lot of questions about like length. Personally, I don't think there's a huge amount of difference. Um, stories from anywhere from three to 11 minutes in length have done well for me. I've heard other people say that uh, a thousand words needs to be the minimum. Um, it's up to you. Experiment with what feels right. Uh, my general rule of thumb is to read aloud and then publish. Doesn't have to be perfect. Doesn't have to be curated on the first go round. Doesn't have to be included at any publication other than your own. This is just going to be the biggest hurdle for you. Write a post and publish it on Medium. Once you've accomplished that, celebrate. Literally just get excited. Go have a celebratory beverage. Have a cupcake that's been waiting for you in the kitchen and has been calling to you. Give your cat a hug. Um, they'll probably hate it if they're anything like my cat, but do it anyway. You deserve to celebrate. You've just written your first post on Medium and hit that publish button. Now we're going to get into section number three, strategy. So you have set up your profile. You know what curation is. You have your own publication ready to go. 
and you've written your first blog post on Medium. That's such a cool place to be. Now we're going to talk about strategy. How can you make Medium work for you? How can you start thinking more long term? Here's what we're going to do. First, brainstorm down five writing ideas. Uh, so the great thing about Medium is, and I want you to pay attention to this, you do not have to stick to a niche. This is not like your old blogging platform. You don't have to be all about cooking or traveling or social media. This is about your interests. Remember how I said Medium doesn't care about followers, it cares about topics? This is why. They're not gonna not they're not gonna show something someone because they follow a person. They're gonna show them something because they like a topic. This gives you a lot of freedom to branch out into anything you're interested in. Literally anything. Talk about cats, talk about why you love trees, talk about the design of lamps over the ages. I'm just looking around my room to give me ideas. You can talk about anything. Um, and as long as you're interested and passionate, it's it's viable, write about it. Choose five ideas that are interesting to you. It can be like pets, chocolate, startup culture, blogging ideas, and feminism. Take inspiration from the other people that you have been following, hopefully, if you followed step one. Now you have five ideas. Try to concentrate those into five headlines. These aren't gonna be what you publish. They're just gonna be like a one sentence summary of what you think this blog post is gonna be. Put those all down in your drafts. So the way you do this is you just go to Medium, new story, and then just write the first sentence and Medium will save that as a draft. And then just go back and start a new one. Do that five times. Next, you're going to decide on a timing strategy. Medium values quality over quantity in the long term. But with Medium, more is always better. Why? Here's where I'm going to talk about the payment. The way you get paid on Medium is due to reader engagement. And that means when somebody reads your story, when a paying Medium member reads your story, you get a portion of their income. You get a portion of their payment. So the more you get out there, the more likely you are to be read and the more money you're gonna get. And it's more than that. Nobody can know what's gonna be viral. The more you write, the better you're gonna get at writing and the more chances you have that something will go viral. And finally, Medium is based on a royalty system. What does that mean? It means that this month I got 30 bucks for a story I wrote a year and a half ago, um, adding on to the $150 it's already earned in the year and a half since I've written it. Things don't just get paid once and then disappear. They keep getting money over time. That's why having more content matters, especially in the beginning. You wanna start building up that revenue stream early. Now, that being said, on medium more than volume consistency matters think about what realistically you can commit to is three times a week good great commit to that is one time a week all you can do also great commit to that can you do it twice a day that's also great commit to that the reason being realistic about this is important is because you will burn out i'm telling you this now if you are in medium for the long game you're gonna burn out at some point and that's just a reality that you have to accept the more realistic you are about your own expectations with yourself, the more likely you are to bounce back from that from that burnout. You're going to run out of ideas and then you'll be like, wait a minute, I love writing once a week, three times a week, twice a day, whatever. I can do this. Set those expectations with yourself up front and then relax. Finally, read three medium posts. Try to leave long, thoughtful comments. This is gonna serve two purposes. First, it's gonna get your gears turning about what you can write about next time, and it's gonna get you on the radar of the people whose work you enjoy and the people who follow those people. So this is gonna be how you start building your base, even though you might not have any followers yourself yet or you might not have written very much yet. Section number four is all about follow-up. So at this point, you've filled out your profile, you know about topics, you know about curation, you know about publications, hopefully you have your own publication, you've written your own story, you've decided on a content strategy and you have five brainstormed ideas for things that are exciting to write about. You've started to build your community by commenting on the people whose work is important to you or that resonated with you. Now we're going to talk about more of the nitty gritty of what it takes to be successful on Medium, not just today, but in the long run as well. First, a little bit of research. I want you to go to Smedian. So it's just Smedian.com, S-M-E-D-I-A-N.com. Smedian is a really cool tool that has um, all the publications on Medium all under one house. So you can quickly search by title, by topic, 
and find publications that are good for you. It's also super easy to request to contribute to stories. Um, you can see all the ones that are open, you can see uh, what the acceptance rate is, and you can see how many people they're waiting on to uh, be contributors. So this gives you an idea of your chances. I recommend trying to submit or requesting to contribute to at least three. Um, and also, if you can, put in the reference link the story that you've already published. This just goes a little extra mile to explaining to them why they should accept you as an author. Remember, publications are good because it means that you can rely on their pre-built audience. You don't have any followers, not a problem, they do. Okay, now, publish your second story. In my opinion, the second story is harder than the first. The first, you are full of vim and vigor and you are buzzing to publish on Medium. The second one, you're having some doubts creep in. You've seen that you only got three views on the first one. You're like, is it even worth it? It is. You have to get those three views because the next time you're gonna get six views and the next time you're gonna get nine views and it just grows incrementally and steadily, but it, it takes that second post to get on that track. Don't overthink it. Did something interesting happen to you today? Write about it. Um, did you feel an overwhelming emotion? Write about it. Um, as I film this, we're currently all in lockdown. What are your feelings on that? Write about it. Don't worry too much about an original idea. Literally, there are no original ideas. Everything's been written about before. Write about something that matters to you because that is something that the world has never seen. Bad idea from your perspective. That's all it has to be. Um, it can be from one of your five topics earlier. Doesn't have to be totally up to you. Finally, follow 10 more people whose stuff you like. By this time, you should have an idea of the voices that you enjoy, the people who are publishing stuff that you like on Medium, um, and following them is just gonna tell Medium that you wanna see more of the same. And this is gonna be really good for um, just prompting your inspiration over time and building uh, your own validity as a person on Medium, as a writer on Medium. Over the next few days, you're gonna be submitting drafts to publication. Hopefully at this time you've been accepted to some of the ones that you um, requested to be accepted to in Smedian. If not, publish them in your own, no big deal. Um, comment on a few more stories that you liked. Again, you're aiming for thought-provoking here. Not just incendiary, but something that's gonna make people think like, huh, this person has good ideas. Maybe I'll go check out their profile. Finally, publish your third story. Don't overthink it. Something that's interesting to you and that you're passionate about. And that is pretty much it. It's a cycle of rinse and repeat. Write things that you care about, follow people you're interested in, leave comments on stories that made you think. Now, when it comes to sharing content, you wanna do this pretty much everywhere you can. I personally don't share my stuff on Facebook because I'm too embarrassed. Um, but sometimes I do tweet about it or I will um, post it in a Facebook group that I'm a part of. Um, if you're really new on Medium and you really have no idea, I highly recommend you join one of the Medium mastery groups. There are tons of them on Facebook and they're just really great for starting to build that community. Um, first, getting eyeballs on your stories, but also finding people like you who are in the similar boat as you and who have the same questions as you at this point that's gonna be really, really worthwhile. So that's that's pretty much it. That's you, you're on Medium, you are writing, you are submitting, you are publishing, you are hopefully getting curated. I do get some potential questions at this point. So first of all, how do I get paid? Medium rewards you financially based on member engagement. What that basically means is if someone who is a Medium member paying $5 per month reads one of your stories, you get a chunk of that $5 membership fee. You also get money if somebody reads your story and then becomes a member in the next 30 days because Medium figures you had something to do with their conversion, so to speak. So share your content as widely as you can. Uh, payment stats get up updated on a daily basis so you can keep checking back in. Speaking of stats, should you worry about your stats? Medium has a beautiful stats page where you can see exactly how few people are reading your stories. Trust me, this sucks to see at first. Do not give in. Don't overanalyze your stats. Don't stress out about them. Those are gonna be some pretty small bars, some pretty small green bars at first, and that's just gonna to have to be something that you kind of expect. It's hard to grow on medium, um, but the good news is it's hard for everyone. However, if you want to know how to actually use your stats in a way that's, that's valuable and isn't gonna send you down a spiraling rabbit hole of despair and distress, I've got a video for you. See somewhere. How long should it take to be successful? This is one of the most popular questions I get. I get people who are like, hey, I've written two stories. When can I expect my $500 paycheck? It's gonna be a while. I will tell you now. We are not in this because we wanna become rich quick. We're in this because we love writing and we wanna be paid to write about what we love. You will not become a millionaire writing on Medium. You might not even become a thousandaire writing on Medium. You will get paid for writing about what you love though. So that's the good news. 
folks like Shannon Ashley started earning five figures in, I think, less than a year. Um, I think the most I've ever earned is $1,800 in a month, and that's something I'm okay with. Um, I know other people who earn, who it took them over a year to start earning over $100 a month, but now they do that consistently. Um, I know Shanta Grimes has a really great series where she tried to earn $1,000 in a month under a brand new profile, um, kind of documenting what it took to start out with, and I really recommend checking her out. Um, if you get to the bottom of this video and you're like, I still have so many questions, you're not alone and there's good news. Shoot me an email, zulirain at gmail.com. I try to answer all of my emails. If you're one of my Patreon subscribers, you actually get preference and I'll email you back faster. Um, but even if you're not, I will try to get back to you because I remember what it was like to be a beginner on Medium. It was hard, it was lonely, it kind of sucked when things went wrong and I didn't understand them. And now that I'm kind of on the other side, I want to help everyone else get there too. So this has been my super comprehensive, super detailed, super deep dive down video on how to be successful on Medium as a new writer. Any questions, leave them in the comments, shoot me an email. I want to help you as much as I can. So enjoy the rest of your week. Let me know how you get with your medium journey. I wanna hear about it. Enjoy writing. Don't let anything take that away from you. All right, bye everyone.